Hey, I'm Nathan Brandt with Cole Ironworks, and today we're gonna to talk about the slide assemblies on our 12-ton and large presses. So a couple of key notes here. We're gonna be talking about die set screws, uh, the slide assembly set screws, bolt-on, all of that stuff's gonna be covered in this video, so stay tuned for information about your press model. First of all, we're gonna address the 12 tons. So this is a 12 ton slide assembly. These are the outer bronze, take this one off, and these are the inner bronze. So you can see here that if I take one side of my bronze off, I can actually slide this out of my press frame and I have access then to the inner bronze. These are using a 5 32nd Allen to tighten them. And on one side, they're counterboard, and on the back side, they're tapped. If I need to take slop up, if I need to take slop up front to back in my press frame, I can use a shim stock. This is a 15 thousandths available for McMaster car, all the way down to a few thousandths. I'll loosen my inner bronze, opening them and slide the shim stock behind to make them physically thicker and take up that wear in my slide assembly from front to back. Now for the outside bronze, I have the ability to simply tighten my outer bolts to take up slop. And if, if I've begun to wear grooves, wear grooves into this bronze, I can simply rotate the bronze and have a fresh surface on the outside of my slide assembly. When it does come time to replace the inner or outer bronze on your 12 ton, this is available at service parts on our website, coaliron.com. Now on the bigger presses, we have the Gib back bar right here, the Gib bar, and then the die holder itself. Inside of that are your bronze wear plates. And you can see one side of them has an oil groove for whey lube. And the back side has indentations that correspond with these three set screws on your gib bar. That allows you, as these wear, to tighten the set screws on your slide assembly and take up wear over time. Eventually, these are going to wear out, in which case you can go to coaliron.com and purchase these and replace them simply by removing the three set screws on the side and back of your slide assembly and installing fresh bronze. Now, for these set screws on the sides of your gib bar and back bar, you'll have these little tiny set screws. This is for a 16 ton and for a 25 ton. These only get 30 foot pounds of force applied to them. And because this slide assembly is moving up and down on the slide plate, which is on the press, uh, this is not a fixed torque value. That means that if you're running your press and at 30 foot pounds, the slide assembly is too tight and will not move up and down on that slide plate, it is completely appropriate to make sure it's well lubricated with some of your whey lube and to take that torque number down a bit until you get the proper combination of tight, rigid sliding up and down on your slide plate and not so much torque that the slide will not move at all. There's also this center gib. So this mounts with this indentation towards the slide plate to your slide assembly using two 3 8, 16 bolts. To adjust this, you'll loosen your bolts and using shim stock, slide behind your center gib, tighten your bolts, and that will increase the thickness taking up any wear that you experience in your center gib. When this does get worn out, which will take a very long time of heavy use, you can purchase a new one of these, service parts, coaliron.com. 
the wear components on your press are there to allow you adjustability and to take up slop over time. But eventually these will get too thin and you'll actually begin to notice uh, the oil groove on your bronze is gone. That's a good indicator that you need a new set of your bronze wear plates. These are made out of 954 aluminum bronze. And we use that material because it's extremely strong and it wears really smoothly when put against a steel slide assembly. However, it also needs to be 954 aluminum bronze. If you make this out of a softer material, it's going to degrade really, really quickly and potentially even deposit itself on the surface of the slide assembly on your forging press. So that's why we use the 954 aluminum bronze. A couple other things to note. In the past, our slide assemblies used a cup point set screw. This cup point would be installed into the single 5 8 11 screw on the front of your die assembly and would mate to the tapered surface on your die plate. However, that cut point would chew an indentation into that surface over time and it would cause really rapid wear. Sometimes it would allow that die to move around a little bit and would simply wear out over time. We've recently changed over to what's called a clamp screw. Now this has a swiveling tip and it directly replaces the set screw on the front of your slide assembly. 5 8 11, same thread obviously, but this swiveling tip adjusts to perfectly match the seven degree taper on your die tenon and allows for extremely rigid holding with very little movement front and back without chewing up uh, your die tenon, which will need to be dressed occasionally otherwise if you're using the original cup point. So we're gonna be offering these on the website. You can purchase these for an older press model, but everything uh, that we ship after January 2022 will have this clamp screw installed on it for your die holding. So all of these parts are available, service parts at coaliron.com. If you have any questions, please reach out, service at coaliron.com. We're happy to help you get everything adjusted properly and taken care of. And we really appreciate you watching this video, so stay tuned for more.